Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in this video we will learn about how to create duplicate rule and matching rule in Salesforce. So first we need to understand what is duplicate rule in Salesforce. The duplicate rule is used to prevent duplicate records from being created in their system. That means if we already have one record and we are creating new record of same values then using duplicate rule we can display alert message or we can prevent duplicate records from being created. This is how work duplicate rule in Salesforce. The matching rule I will explain while creating duplicate rule in Salesforce. So watch the video till end and don't miss any step. After that you can also create duplicate rule and use of matching rule in Salesforce. And if you are new to our channel, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So whenever we post new video, you will get updated. Now without any delay, let's jump to the org. There I will demonstrate you how to create duplicate rule in Salesforce. So this is Salesforce homepage. So before creating duplicate rule, let's take a scenario. So in this scenario, we have custom employee object and we are creating employee records who get hired. Now the requirement is we should not create any duplicate employee record in our system. So for that, let's create duplicate rule for employee object. Before that, let me show you employee object. Click on app launcher. Then here I am searching for employee object. Now here you can see in the employee object list view, here I already created some employee records. Now the requirement is when I will create new record and if the value of new record it get matched with the old records value, then the new record should not get saved. So let's create duplicate rule for that click on this gear icon then click on setup. Now in the quick find box search for duplicate rules. Here you can see under the data management we have duplicate rules click on it. Now here you can see some standard duplicate rules which are already created by Salesforce. To create new duplicate rule here we have option new rule click on it and then here we need to select on which object we want to create new rule. So as per our scenario we need to select employees here I am selecting employees. Now here we need to specify rule name for that here I am entering duplicate underscore employee. Then in the description you can give short intro about your rule. So here I am entering prevent duplicate employee records. Then in the object we already selected employees. After that here we have record level security. In that we have two options enforce, enforce sharing rule and then bypass sharing rule. So here we need to know about what is sharing rule in Salesforce. The video link what is sharing rule and how to create it I have given in description box you can go through it so you will understand sharing rule in Salesforce. So here you can see here we have two options enforce and bypass. If we select the enforce sharing rule that means the record you will create it compares only records that the user has access to. And if you select bypass sharing rule that means the record that you will create it will compare all records regardless of the user has access. So here I have selected enforce sharing rule. Then we need to specify actions. In the actions we need to specify what happens when the user tries to save duplicate record. So here we have two actions. First one is action on create and another one is action on edit. So as you click on this drop down here we have two options block and allow. And then on the edit also we have allow and block. If you select allow option that means if you create duplicate records it will display alert message that this record is duplicate but the record will get saved. Then in the edit action also if you select allow and then click on alert it will display alert message and record will get updated. Now as per our scenario we don't want to save the duplicate record. For that here I am selecting block and here also block. After that you can customize alert text. So here I am entering duplicate records. Then scroll down. So now here you can see here we have matching rule. So first we need to understand the definition of matching rule. The matching rule define how Salesforce identifies duplicate records by comparing fields value. For example, a matching rule might be compare an email field in leads and contact to flag potential duplicate. Now in this duplicate rule we need to select matching rule so that we can identify duplicate records by comparing fields value. So here you can see compare employee with. 
Now as you click on this drop down, here you will see all Salesforce standard and custom objects. Here you can select different object so that you can compare the value of employee record to the selected object. Now here we are creating duplicate rule for employee object. For that here I have selected employee object. And now here we need to select matching rule. So as I click on this rule, here we don't have any matching rule with employee object. For that we need to create new matching rule. Here we have option create new matching rule, click on it. So before leaving this duplicate rule, we need to save this. For that click on save duplicate rule. And now here you can see we automatically navigated to the matching rule page. So here you can see object which is employee that we selected in the duplicate rule. After that rule name and unique name is automatically populated. In the description you can tell about your rule. Then here we have matching criteria. Now the matching criteria is very important thing in the matching rule and duplicate rule. So first in the field we need to select by which field we are going to create this matching rule. For example here I am selecting email. Then in the matching method as you click on this here we have exact match. Now what is it means we have selected email with exact match. Now here you need to understand we are creating duplicate rule on employee object. After that in the matching object we also selected the employee object. And then in the matching criteria we selected the employee field. That means when you are creating new employee record and the email that you entering it's already available in the other employee record. That means this record will not get saved. And after that here we have match blank fields option. Now if I select this option that means if I already have one record with the email field is blank. After that when I will create new record and leave the email field blank. That means it will be the duplicate record if we check this checkbox. For now here I am not checking this checkbox. If you want to add another field you can add also. Now at this moment I want to check the duplicate records on the email field and then click on save. Now here you can see duplicate employee matching rule has been successfully created. Now as you see the status initially the status is inactive. First we need to make it active for that here you can see active button click on it. And now the matching rule has been successfully activated. Now again we need to navigate to the duplicate rules. And then open duplicate rules that is duplicate employee. Then again click on edit. Scroll down and now here you can see matching rule automatically populated with active. If you want to add another rule you can add also. Then here we have conditions. This one is optional. Here we can specify the condition a record must be meet for the rule to run. That means here if I added any condition and if this condition get true after that only this rule will run. Here I am not doing anything and directly click on save. Now our employee duplicate rule has been successfully created. So initially this rule also inactive. We need to activate this for that click on this activate button. And now this rule also active. Now let's navigate to employee object. There we will check whether this rule is working or not. So here I am navigating to the employee object. Refresh the page. And now here I am opening this Alex Joy employee record. So let me copy this email so that I can use this email for new employee. Again go back. Now I am creating new employee. Next. So here I am entering test duplicate rule. Here I need to fill mandatory fields. Date of birth after that. Now in this email field I will paste the email that I copied from old employee. So here I am pasting the copied email address and then here salary also mandatory. So here I am entering and now as I click on this save button here we have an alert. You can't save this record because a duplicate record is already exist to save use different information. So this is because we provided duplicate email for the new employee. So let me change the email. Here I am entering any value and now as I click on this save button here you can see test duplicate rule record has been successfully created. So in this way we can create duplicate rule and matching rule in Salesforce. If you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you will get regular update. Thank you.